today we're going to be watching some epic marimba flexing. <laughs> Just that left hand is ridiculous. Da -da 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 -da. Da. Whoa! <laughs> this run is so hard. What? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's go, let's go, that's... Oh, yeah, that's so satisfying. I think that performance might have just been the best performance I've ever seen on this channel. Period. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of This Studio. My name is Adam, and it's time for yet another Let's Watch. Thank you so much to my studio VIPs, Robert Utomo, Will Flinner, Marimba Maurice, Ryan Carlos, Sunshine Han, Scott Raider, Greg Harris, Dom Zombie Chung, Dean P. Newberger, and Bradley Crowley. Thank you so much for your continued support. And today's featured studio artist is John Cox. Thank you so much for your continued support. And if you'd like to become a studio VIP or a studio artist, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Adam Tan, or you can click over here. Welcome back to the show once again. Hope you've been well, hope you've been staying safe. And yes, today we're going to be watching some epic marimba flexing and so let's just get straight into it with our first submission which is paganini caprice 24. now last week i played paganini caprice number one on marimba you can check it out over here and i really thought that was pretty hard but 24 is like something else entirely like if you don't know what paganini caprice 24 is it's one of the biggest flex pieces available on violin like right up there and we're going to hear it on marimba and this submission was submitted anonymously he says the piece is played by the Danish marimba virtuoso Anders Kahn Elton. This guy has studied at the Royal Danish Academy of Music, well, there you go, a bit of a university flex, and became a teacher at the academy at the time he began his soloist degree. His technical abilities on the instrument is absolutely incredible and he plays with a very pianistic approach. Not so much in this video. <laughs> yes, I imagine as Caprice 24 is a violin solo, I don't think it's gonna be very pianistic, but I think it's still gonna be extremely impressive. So, let's watch. Okay, so here's the video. It's titled The Amazing Anders Elton Marimba Solo. And it's from World Percussion Group. World Percussion Group have made some of the most ridiculous marimba playing videos ever. You should totally go and check them out. Yeah, I'm really excited to see how this video goes. I can't see anything because it's black. So let's just, let's just start. All right, here we go, here we go. <laughs> Are those the cleanest laterals or what? <laughs> Listen to those one, two, three, fours. Brum, brum. Oh man. Nice. Man, his touch is ridiculous. See how he's angling the mallet slightly? And now more flat. Oi! What is that sticking? Whoa, 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 hold on, okay. <laughs> okay, so that lateral playing is ridiculous. If you're new to marimba, lateral playing is when we do these strokes with four mallets. And he's going like one, two, three, four to get those arpeggiated sounds. Like, and that is just so clean. The execution is so clean. I want to say that again. Let's go right back to the start. Let's go right back to this. Man, this ladder rolls just. What? <laughs> you see how he's not rushing as well? It's like super in time too. What the? <laughs> And whatever those mallets are, sound like Keiko Abe is, I'm not so sure though. Nice, that's beautiful. Here we go. Man, so crisp, those chromatics. <laughs> Whoa, there's just a casual little octave at the bottom. Man, he's like a machine gun. Whoa! That's sticking! Whoa! Oh, 
Man. The seamless transitions between the laterals in the right hand and also integrating the second bell, like, which is like super light and super delicate, exactly like how a violinist would play. Just <laughs> that left hand is ridiculous. What the? Come on. That's like Theodore Milkov level control. Oh. And I think he's using Steven's grip too. Uh, I don't really appreciate the editing of this video though. Man, it's so soft. Yeah, I wish we could see this uninterrupted instead of having cuts everywhere, but you know, this is 2016. Nice. <laughs> Wait, what was that? I think he adjusted his mallets in his hand somewhere, somewhere here. <laughs> that was a good save. He's like, uh, uh, uh. live recordings like that. You gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. Really nice voicing. Look at that voicing. Bringing out that top voice. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. Whoa! Beautiful cross handing. See, we never lose that melody. What the? <laughs> He's not rushing at all too. It's like super, super even. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, mm, I like that. Whoa, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry for pausing it, but like, we just gotta break down some of the things he's doing here. Like, it's just really, really advanced playing. Unbelievably advanced. I just really appreciate that he's not rushing at any point. He's really keeping the tempo solid, even amongst all of these beautiful, smooth, lateral passages. He's spent hours and hours on his technique to get the laterals to be that fine and that finessed. And then nice, a nice breath to start the next section. Oh! And see those double verticals in his left hand? Oh. And the accuracy is ridiculous. Again, amazing playing, and the way he's simulating those do -do 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 -do, like what violinists would normally do in these passages is brilliant. The way he's like dragging the time ever so slightly and pulling it back in again, absolutely brilliant. I'm totally lost for words. This is like the highest level of solo bravo playing I've seen on this channel yet. Like, undoubtedly, that's ridiculous. Oh, whoa, that accuracy. Oh, with the Freddie Mercury at the end, that was ridiculous. Let me hear that ending again. I need to process it a bit better. Wow. Wow. I'm currently reconsidering my career. <laughs> that's, that's, Wow. Okay, so Anders in this video is showing us the difference between a truly professional style of playing and like a good style of playing. So I think a good player would have been able to play this technically, no problem, but they would have either rushed or they would have made the sound uh, harsh when it got to the more intense sections or they would just have gotten too excited. Whereas I think Anders kept it 100, he kept it very calm. I didn't feel at any point that Anders was trying too hard to impress us. He didn't have any enormous strokes or enormous dynamic passages where it was just like super loud or super soft. It was always very clear and very much the style that I think Paganini is supposed to be in. Really, really nice. So I'd love to see a violinist comment on this video. Like if you're a violinist, let me know down in the comments below. What did you think of this performance? Or actually, if you're anyone, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of this performance. Cause it was just, 
Wow. I think that performance might have just been the best performance I've ever seen on this channel. Period. But you never know, that might change in the next performance, which is also a very, very impressive video. And it's one of the pieces that I love dearly very, very much. But before we get into it, if you're enjoying today's video, please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Time to get into the second video, which is Merlin. I love Merlin. It's one of my favorite pieces on marimba of all time. If you're not a marimbist, Merlin is... I'd say one of the top most difficult pieces of all time for solo marimba. Gabe here has submitted a video by Kai Strobel performing Merlin by Andrew Thomas at Trump 2018. Now Trump is one of the most competitive competitions in the world. I've seen some amazing players go to Trump and not pick up any of the top three prizes. And Gabe said, I'm not a percussionist by any means, but you mentioned this piece in a recent episode of the studio and I thought I would share this performance of one of your favorites. Oh, Gabe, you know me too well. Yes, I absolutely love Merlin and we know that this is a competition winning performance. So let's watch. Okay, so here's the video. Eindhoven, ah yes, it's from... Okay, so here's the video. Trump International Percussion Competition, Eindhoven. Yes, one of the most prestigious competitions for percussion in the world. And the video is called Kai Strabel Performing Merlin by Andrew Thomas at Trump 2018. The description says, 18 November 2018, Kai Strobel won the first prize of Trump 2018. Polished, musically intelligent and mature. Experience and control and great lines full of details. So it says here the jury was Michael Barrett, Martin Grubinger, Momoko Kamiya, yeah, Arnold Marinissen, Mark Pekarski, Emmanuel Sejourné, and Ruan Yang. So yeah, this is a very serious <laughs> competition performance. Kai Strobel, first prize. Let's get into it. A little bit of a hover. Ah, first movement first. I have to be honest, I never played the first movement, but it can be so beautiful if it's done right. He's using that. Uh, that looks like traditional crypt to me. Now, if you've never heard Merlin before, the second movement is the one that is the flex. The first movement is like the calm before the storm. <laughs> I'm not a fan of this camera work. They should just keep it in one position. It's very nice ways of lifting the mallets though. This is bar placement, it's really good. This, this camera work, man. Yes, thank you. Look at the mallets, not his face. <laughs> yeah, you can see, you can see where he's placing it. Very, very nice. Ah, look at that staggered roll. Give it some articulation. Ah, oh, what a way to make the dynamics big. And just bring it straight down again. Dude, this camera angle, come on. <laughs> Do we need to have this like picture in picture thing? This is really beautiful playing. There's a Keiko Abe's, right? Those mallets. Taped as well. So even pro players tape their mallets, okay. mistake so far. It's like perfect. Brilliant dynamic control. Oh yes. See how he's changing the roll speed as well to suit the level. He's rolling a little bit faster to get the sound to keep going. Oh that that stroke though. Oi Side on. And see how he's positioning his arms? To get the best position on the bar. Nice. Oh, that, that is so good. All right, here we go. Here we go. The moment has come. The moment has come. Merlin, second movement. So he's changing mallets to 
another set of Keiko armors? Maybe something more. No, that's Pious Cheng, isn't it? I don't know. Oh. Perfect pacing, not too fast. Yeah, it's got all the accents too. I miss this piece so much. Yeah. Wow, so powerful. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold up. That was like perfect. What? Okay, let's go back, let's go back. I really wanted to hear some of those accented parts and the dynamic contrast is unbelievably good. And the way how he's like controlling the stroke, I just, okay, let's just go back. All the octaves, just 100% accuracy. So he just creeps in and he adjusts his positioning, just perfect. He's not taking excessive rubato too. That's that height, and then just bring it down. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Oh. Oh, brilliant. And this bit sounds so nice. Here it comes. run is so hard. What? <laughs> yeah! Oh, that run is one of the hardest runs in the piece for me, just because it's da -da 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 -da. you have to sort of um, position your hands very awkwardly and he just, he just did it like it was nothing. This part, this part. It's just like it's nothing. <laughs> And he's still keeping it soft. A lot of first time players will make this section really, really loud for no reason. And he's, he's got all the accents perfect. This part's hard too, but I can't show you anything because the camera is terrible. There we go. It's coming, it's coming. My hands used to get so tired playing this bit because it, it's so much double vertical stroke. Here it comes. Let's go, let's go, that's, oh yeah, that's so satisfying. Okay, so that parallel octave section, I've never been able to play it at that speed, like accurately. I know it's really hard. And he just did it like it was nothing. Because you need to play parallel octaves in this hand and also another one at the bottom. At that sort of speed. And he's just, he's just like, whatever, let's just do it.
Oh, beautiful. Stop focusing on his face. Come on. Zoom out. This bit's... Controlled acceleration. Yeah. This part's also annoying. A lot of cross handing. Oh. That accuracy. Wow, okay. So if you've ever played this passage on Marimba, you'll know that jumping from that register to the bottom register like this is very difficult to get it accurate because you need to just quickly look and just play it. And he did it like it was nothing. He did it like it was nothing. Like, check this out. It's like it's nothing. That one as well. Sounds so nice. Yeah! These bits used to tire me out so much. Here we go. Oh, beautiful. Here it comes. Again, perfect octaves. Oh, it just brings it down to nothing. This bit's one of my favorites too, when it changes tonality. Stop zooming on his face, come on. It's just getting good at this part. Yeah! Nice short roll. Oh, one wrong note, one wrong note. But that can be forgiven. Oh. Okay, that part is deceptively difficult as well because you need to line up your left hand with the octaves in the right hand. This part here. Okay, we're on the last page. The big moment is coming, the big finish that you've all been waiting for. So he's playing it nice and soft. The big finish. What a finish! What a finish! We gotta go back, we gotta go back and see that finish one more time but I just have to say, the camera work in this is terrible like why would they zoom into his face at that moment? That's like the most important part of the piece and they're zooming in on his face are you serious? I wanted to see how he achieved the split. Some people, they have to spread their legs really wide. I had to spread my legs to reach the top and the bottom of the marimba because it's literally the lowest register and the highest register at the same time. Okay, here, you can see that reach on a marimba is like almost two meters wingspan. It's like you have to really reach very far and he's just nailed all of the octaves. They sound very clear. There's not hitting any nodes. It sounds 
awesome. Finish this off, let's just watch that chromatic run, the epic Merlin run one more time because it's so satisfying. <laughs> Perfect. One wrong octave there, but basically perfect. And then the intensity is so big. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. And that finish is unreal, just over the head. I'm done, I'm done with this. I win. At that moment, he basically knows he's won. Like, how can you not win with that? Okay, so Merlin has a lot of different interpretations. There's some people who will take, you know, for example, that octave section, they'll transpose the left hand up one octave to make it easier, stuff like that. And I feel like you're not getting the full fat Merlin experience. Whereas here, Kai pulled out all of the stops. He literally did everything as written, properly, he didn't rush, he didn't make it sound like a super big flex. I'll tell you a story, two years ago, I actually played Merlin in a competition and I didn't win, but the person who won also played Merlin and his version of Merlin, although it was very impressive, it was also very fast and it didn't sound that good. I didn't really hear that much nuance out of it. It was definitely a very hard and fast rendition, which is impressive to the right panel. Some panelists really like that sort of technical hard and fast approach. And some panelists prefer a more musical approach like these Trump panelists. I think they prefer more of the musicality, but I much prefer listening to a well-rounded rendition like this, where he's clearly paid a lot of attention to the small details. And it was just nice to listen to. I mean, how many times have you listened to marimba music that is supposed to be really difficult, but it just sounds horrible. This was just really enjoyable for me and I hope you enjoyed it as well. Let me know down in the comments what you thought of that performance. I am just mind blown at the moment. I definitely need to practice more now. <laughs> and if you enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And if you want to submit a video to this channel to watch on the Let's Watch segment, make sure you go to adamcampdashon.com forward slash submit and submit it over there. Yes, I'm not cool enough to have a subreddit just yet. <laughs> I can only dream, Harold. But yes, if you enjoy content like this, you can also consider hitting that red subscribe button below to keep up my uploads. I upload new content like this every single week. It's been a lot of fun watching these videos with you guys once again. And thank you so much for watching today's video. I'll see you guys next week for another episode of The Studio. Good night.